One of the most anticipated movies of the year, guys, is Godzilla vs. Kong. This is a movie that, of course, guys, is going to be continuing the legacy that they started with not only Godzilla, but also with the Kong movie uh, that has come out, and now they want to create this monsters universe uh, in a cinematic form which is incredible and I'm excited for it and I want to talk about everything that we know so far about this movie and we can talk about it so let's get into it in an article guys that was written by Hector Valverde of CBR.com ever since Legendary's MonsterVerse launched in 2014 with Godzilla the entire franchise franchise has been building to one film Godzilla vs Kong that culmination of the MonsterVerse has been long delayed. However, when it arrives, the two title titans will finally get a, ch a chance to face off each other in combat. So look, really quick, guys, you know, something that I, you know, uh, wanted to say is that this is something that I think they've been building this MonsterVerse, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I will say this though, as far as with Godzilla and Kong, I think there's been like some of these movies, which up to this point has been three, uh, some of them have been hits and misses in my personal opinion. I find them to be, you know, pretty good overall, but honestly, it's, it's hard to say like where it's really going. So let's talk about the story so far. A follow up to last year's King of the Monsters, Godzilla vs. Kong is also a sequel to 2014's Godzilla and 2017's Kong Skull Island. All three prior movies have in some way or another centered around Monarch, a cryptic government organization founded to study and manipulate the Earth's ancient titans in order to protect mankind. Now what I'll say guys is King of the Monsters, I thought it was okay, but I, I didn't like it nearly as much as Godzilla, and Kong Skull Island was okay. Like, they were both okay. Now, as far as King Kong goes, like Peter Jackson's King Kong, I thought was an incredible uh, addition, you know, or just, you know, solo film that uh, I, I, I liked it a lot more than Kong Skull Island, in my personal opinion. And God's 2014's Godzilla was absolutely incredible. I loved that movie. Uh, but King of the Monsters and even Kong Skull Island, I don't know, they just didn't like and super well for me just didn't I don't know if it was like the stakes didn't feel that high or it just didn't feel real enough to me I'd love to hear from you guys though let me know in the comment section below about what you guys thought about Kong Skull Island you know Godzilla and you know Godzilla King of the Monsters uh, after leveling yet another city in King of the Monsters, Godzilla has crowned himself the Titans Alpha, instituting peace on Earth. The environment is healing after centuries of human endangerment, with Titans returning to the planet's surface to protect the natural world between their biomes. Despite Earth's tranquil state, newspaper headlines during King of the Monsters' credit sequence indicate that Monarch is busier than ever. The organization is exploring the hollows of the Earth in search of more Titans, and an increase in seismic activity and security around Skull Island suggests... Monarch is up to something fishy on Kong's home. Kong, meanwhile, has presumably stayed dormant on his island since the 70s, though it appears he's now subsequently larger in size. Kong has been theorized to have been in his infancy or youth during the film, explaining this dramatic growth spurt, which I find is kind of interesting, guys, that they decided to go in this direction of making Kong so massive so he could fight Godzilla, I'll be interested to see what they decide to do with that. Either way, I think it'll be really cool to see these two Titans facing off against one another. It could land like Batman versus Superman, which everyone was so excited to see Batman versus Superman on the screen. And then the fight sequence was like the fight sequences between the two of them were like five minutes or something. So I hope that this is something that's really awesome. There's a, a significant buildup and it's there's a payoff though as well. As far as the release date is concerned, guys, initially slated for a March release, Godzilla vs. Kong is currently set to premiere on November 20th. No further delays have been announced in the wake of the pandemic. So, of course, guys, lots of movies have been pushed back. Hopefully it doesn't get pushed back to, uh, again. But I'd like to see, uh, you know, as far as the, the trailers and things of that nature that have come out for this movie, um, I'm excited to, I, I don't, I want them to actually not even really bring out many more trailers because I don't want them to ruin, like, the whole movie, which is what so many incredible you know movies that are released they they just a lot of times are shown we're shown way too much in the trailers as far as cast and crew is concerned guys your next in Blair Witch director Adam Wingard will helm the film with a screenplay from Pirates of the Caribbean and Shrek scribe Terry Rossio Alexander Skarsgård Brian Tyree Henry Eliza 
Gonzalez, Rebecca Hall, and Jessica Henwick have all been cast. However, details about the movie's characters are sparse, though Skarsgård's character, likely the film's human lead, has been described as a geologist with a special connection to Kong. So a pretty nice stellar list of, of cast members, guys. And I'm excited about Adam Wingard being the director of this. I actually liked Blair Witch a lot, and I thought Your Next was really good as well. So I'm excited about that. It should be really, uh, it should be interesting to see someone who's not as like a, a massive like director be able to helm a, a huge, I mean, blockbuster film like this. Uh, Kyle Chandler and Millie Bobby Brown reprised their roles as father and daughter scientists Mark and Madison Russell from King of the Monsters. Zhang Ziyi will also return as Dr. Eileen Chen, a third-generation Titan mythologist and a spiritual successor to Toho's classic Shobin uh, characters from the Mothra series. Now, this is interesting as far as the rumored monsters are concerned. Alongside Godzilla and Kong, the credit sequence, The King of the Monsters, sets up returns for other monsters down the road. Notable newspaper headlines in the credits include Monarch Finds Massive Egg, Rodent Nesting in Volcanic North of Fiji, and Monarch Confirms Ancient Greek Origin of Squid-like Titan Known as Scylla. The egg mentioned foreshadows another moth responding after its parent sacrifice helping Godzilla defeat King Gid Dora in King of the Monsters. Rodin, the new legendary created Scylla, amongst other Keiju, may also return from King of the Monsters to protect the reptilian ruler in his battle with Kong. So that's pretty exciting, guys. I gotta say, like, you know, there are, people are were really breaking down everything from the credits of King of the Monsters, which I think is awesome. And I think that more monsters do not doesn't always mean that it means it's better, right? I've always kind of said that. Bigger doesn't always mean better when it comes to movies like this. And I felt the King of the Monsters was trying to be too big. I thought, you know, Kong, you know, Skull Island was trying to be too big uh, for some, you know, just for one reason or another. And I thought that uh, Godzilla was perfect. I thought it was just like absolutely like perfectly executed on multiple fronts. And I hope that they kind of get back to that in this Godzilla versus Kong uh, movie. Because I think that you kind of, when you have too many different other monsters involved, a lot of that attention goes away from Godzilla and Kong, which is what the movies should be centered around. So I'm hoping that they don't kind of lose their way there. And then there's just like a sequence between Kong, Kong and Godzilla at the very end of the movie. And it ends up being like five minutes, like I said, similar to Batman versus Superman. So look, guys. Uh, there are a a lot of things that we're certainly excited about with this with this movie. One big headline in the credits also mentions Monarch is creating a mechanized giant on Skull Island after several disastrous attempts to create organic titans in the past. All hints seem to indicate the arrival of Me Mecha Godzilla on the horizon, which a recent toy leak seems to indicate may indeed be the case. However, toys are not always in indicative of what appears in the final product. Nonetheless, guys. Look, I'm very excited about this. And look, this is just like going to be one of those like blockbuster films. I think the monster monsterverse, I think is going to be something that is really more than anything, you know, maybe not taking it like super seriously, but just something that's like a spectacle that you want to watch in the theaters is definitely what this kind of, what I think of when I think of, you know, Godzilla versus Kong. I mean, we've never seen this in, in a cinematic format. And I think that people are like really excited about this. And I am as well, very excited. I just hope that it really has a real payoff. It's not just a lot of build up and then there's, you know, not really a great fight sequence between Godzilla and Kong. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What are you most excited about with Godzilla versus Kong? Who wins the fight, guys? Let me know what you guys think. And for more Godzilla versus Kong content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.